Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here on a bonus episode of the new marketing show, Instagram TV. So today we're talking about content credibility. And you, you know, of course, to make your content as credible as possible, know what the hell you're talking about. I mean, that just gets you a seat at the table. So, I mean, I hate to have to say that, and I did say that in, in the other video, but I feel like I have to say that because so many people just will raise their hand and say that they're an expert in something without having all the facts and kind of doing the legwork to be to be an expert. From there, after you know what you're talking about, cite your sources. A lot of people do a lot of research when they're producing their content, and the research that they do is not their own, which is totally fine, but cite your sources. I mean, tell people, allow your audience to go and dig deeper somewhere. Tell them where you got the stats. If it was eight out of 10 content creators say da 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 da, well, say who did that survey. You know, I, I had a sales training coach a long time ago from Sandler Sales Institute. And this, it was a whole other thing. But he said that he would make up things when he would sell to clients. And he would say that there are PFA st studies. PFA stood for pick from air, meaning he made it up. So bullshit. Don't bullshit people when it comes to content statistics and research. People are smarter than that. Give your audience some credit. And also, if you've done any work like that, Talk about the results that you've achieved while deploying these tactics and, and, and putting the research to work. You know, I had some feedback in WordCamp New York City that, you know, I did, I did a presentation, but I didn't say how solving problems led to more business. The next time I did, gave that presentation, I put some statistics in there and I put our raw analytics in there and it resonated so much better with the audience because it was real. So go ahead and and put in, you know, results. Talk about, you know, what happened and what you achieved by deploying these methods. And what you do then is you take people on the journey with you from concept to execution to results. And that's where everything happens. So Thanks for, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more content like this, make sure you subscribe to The New Marketing Show on iTunes, and also you can get this content twice a week on Instagram TV, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. So, talk to you later.